One million people. That's how many citizens live in the Tokyo Bay megacity pyramid, a construction of such insane proportions that it looks like it's something out of science fiction. But what if I told you this is real and planned to be built in Japan in the year 2030? What is this insane mega project? What would it be like to live in it? And will we ever actually see it complete? Join us in exploring the Shimizu TRY 2004 Mega City Pyramid. Tokyo is considered one of the largest mega cities in the world, alongside New York, Shanghai, Los Angeles, Mexico City, and London. And like these cities, there is a constant battle in Tokyo between overdevelopment, population growth, and growing the economy. Tokyo has tried to move around this challenge by expanding tendrils of high-speed transportation to satellite cities to alleviate the pressures of too many people in one place. But the Shimizu Corporation has had a very different idea indeed. The company, which has been around for hundreds of years since the Edo period, has seen the overdevelopment of Tokyo and other cities and realized that not enough people live close together. In fact, it was the current low density of these cities that was the flaw. If everyone was in one giant building, you could remove the inefficiencies and wasted energy of separate homes and separate transportation. However, they couldn't figure out how to actually build it until a little film came out called Blade Runner. In 1982, Blade Runner took the world by storm. In it, the Tyrell Corporation operated out of a giant pyramid in Los Angeles. Inspired by this realm of fantasy, the engineers at Shimizu realized that this structure, much like the pyramids of Egypt, was perfect for their megacity dreams and got to work designing the blueprints. Ten years later, this is what they came up with. Standing at a height of 2,004 meters, or 6,500 feet, this giant pyramid structure would have a floor area of 8 square kilometers, or 3.1 square miles. That's insane, crushing the biggest building by volume in the United States, the Boeing 747 factory, and is eight times bigger than the biggest floor space building in the world, the New Century Global Center in China. That's a total of 275 city blocks worth of space. The pyramid's foundation would be comprised of 36 piers made of special concrete over Tokyo Bay. You might notice that it's not a solid structure, but rather a network of megatrusses created from carbon nanotubes. This would allow it to survive the common earthquakes in the Pacific Ring of Fire and not be affected by wind forces, because believe me, a structure that big would act like a giant sail. There would be five levels, each level forming a mini pyramid the same size as the Great Pyramid of Giza, around 55 of them to be exact. The trusses would have a photovoltaic film to convert the sunlight hitting the surface into electricity. Since there's such a large surface area, this would not be an insignificant amount of energy generated. This would primarily be used to power the air circulation and temperature control functions as this city would generate a ton of heat, but would also be tied into the main nuclear-powered energy grid. Oddly, there was also a suggestion in the patent that the city could use biofuel. So much waste from a city's worth of people could be recycled or fermented to generate heat. But I bet you're asking, what would it be like to live inside? With a total capacity for over a million people, this structure would simultaneously be the biggest construction project ever, but also barely make a dent in the massive population of Tokyo. Inside, there would be countless hotels, malls, homes, and offices with a variety mix on each level, essentially providing everything you need without you ever needing to leave your area. Specifically, there would be smaller skyscrapers on each level around 80 stories high that would act as mini-cities attached to the truss structure, sometimes even hanging from above. The lower levels would have homes, offices, and domestic areas, with the top layers reserved for hotels, recreation facilities, and universities. To get around, the population wouldn't have cars, but what I can only describe as escalators on crack. 
there would be accelerated walkways, inclined elevators running on each of the support trusses or funiculars, depending on where you're from, and massive, I mean truly massive, three-story elevators to go between the levels. There was also an idea to have personal pods that could take you between zones, kind of like the trains that are featured at airports. At each node, there would be a transport hub where people can switch and move on. Lastly, there would be a heliport near the top of the roof, highway access at ground level, and integrated to the Tokyo Metro system. Construction, maintenance, and cargo transport would be handled by robots running around special corridors, not unlike the belt system that is used at most airports. In addition, there would be fiber optic cables to help pump in sunlight to even the most internal sectors to ensure it doesn't become some cyberpunk dystopia, which honestly might just happen. Now, if you're like me, this sounds fantastic. And you're wondering, how soon can you move in? Well, hold your horses, because there's one little snag. The Shimizu Megacity Pyramid presents a significant challenge for construction due to its immense weight, surpassing the capabilities of current technology and resources. A single 80-story skyscraper constructed solely from steel and glass already weighs a staggering 365,000 tons. However, estimates suggest that the Shimizu Megacity Pyramid would weigh an astonishing 1.8 billion tons. To support such a colossal structure, each of the 36 foundations would need to withstand a load of 50 million tons, surpassing the weight of the Golden Gate Bridge by more than 50 times. The ideal solution lies in the realm of carbon nanotubes and graphene, possessing remarkable strength while being significantly lighter. This innovative material holds the key to constructing the Shimizu Megacity Pyramid, as it would provide the necessary strength without adding excessive weight. Another critical consideration for the pyramid's construction is the availability of suitable land. Given the immense scale of the pyramid, finding an adequate land area becomes challenging. Consequently, the project envisions constructing the pyramid on water, utilizing available aquatic space as a viable option to accommodate this monumental structure. And then, we need to consider cost. The cost of building the Shimizu Megacity Pyramid is expected to run around $600 billion, or 560 billion euro. It is one of the relatively cheaper visionary projects to build. Despite all of this, the team behind it is still adamant that they will have it completed by the year 2110. I love that they said 110 years, and not just 100 years. It shows the optimism and pre-planning to give them a little more time. But what if I told you that this wasn't actually the only pyramid being considered for Tokyo? That there was an even bigger one on the horizon that made this one look like a child's toy? Subscribe or let me know in the comments if you want to see another video on it. If you enjoyed this video today, then I suggest you check out our other video on a city mega project, specifically the New York Dome. And don't forget to subscribe.